My name is Matt Chitwood. I am the inaugural Levinson Fellow through the Institute of Current World Affairs. And uh, my research proposal is to be in rural Yunnan province uh, of China for two years. So Yunnan province is the southwesternmost province in China, borders Myanmar, Laos, and Vietnam. Uh, and uh, just some fascinating uh, development things that are taking place there uh, infrastructure-wise. High-speed rail has recently connected Yunnan with uh, the wealthy East Coast. Uh, lots of infrastructure projects going on there, highways, uh, smaller roads connecting uh, previously isolated uh, villages throughout the province. Uh, Xi Jinping's One Belt, One Road initiative uh, that is a massive initiative um, that's looking at connecting Western China with basically the rest of the world, 65% of the world's population, uh, through Central Asia to Europe, um, maritime route around India to Africa. Um, and so how are these changes in infrastructure and development uh, affecting life in Yunnan province? I first heard about the ICWA Fellowship through a former fellow, Dan Wright. Um, if you spend any amount of time in China, uh, his is a name that eventually comes up in these conversations. So heard heard about him through several people and, and finally got to connect with him in person. Uh, Dan Wright was a fellow uh, in the late 1990s. He spent two years in a rural village. Uh, a, a town of 500,000 people that no one's heard of uh, in Guizhou province, uh, which is one of the poorest provinces in China. And as he described that experience, he said it was the most uh, important and inflection point in his 35-year relationship with China. A party official once told me uh, it's easy for the party to control people in cities because they're condensed, um, but it's the people in, in the rural areas that they worry about. And so I think having a pulse on what those people are thinking, uh, how they view these issues and how they respond to these issues, that's what I'm really hoping to tap into and, and better understand. Things that happen in domestic U.S. politics, how those affect uh, the U.S. relationship with China, uh, Chinese domestic politics, these all uh, drastically affect global security, global trade, uh, all of these issues that we see every day in the headlines. Uh, and I think understanding, again, this side of China and this side of, of life in China, uh, the, the not Beijing, the not Shanghai, uh, I think international news media tends to focus on these things all the time. We, we hear about Beijing, we hear about Shanghai, uh, but what's happening in the, in the other 50% of China uh, dramatically affects what Beijing is worried about and how they shape both their domestic and their foreign policies. So how do we understand uh, an issue like rural to urban migration and how does that inform Beijing's policy that then affects what President Xi is thinking about when he talks about trade policy with the U.S. and, and renegotiation of those things.